Hey everyone, welcome back to Akiken. I am Chioko, your fluffy guide, and today we are diving into vibrant city of Seville. Get ready for a day filled with delicious food, scenic walk, and a bit of unexpected adventure. Seville is often called the heart of South Spain and the battle of Andalusia. Within a few hours of arriving, we understood why. Our civil adventure kicked off with a delicious breakfast at Triana Market. While enjoy some treats outside, the human includes in local delights. Triana Market is a foodie heaven. So if you find yourself here, make sure to grab a bite. Your taste buds will thank you. Next stop, Plaza de España. But getting there is a half the fun. We stroll through the Park de Maria Luisa. Botanic wonderland with palms and citrus tree from around the globe. It's like a doggy dream come true. So many scents. Now, Plaza de Español is a marvel. The iconic square is a true masterpiece of Spanish architecture and a must see in Seville. The Plaza de Español was built in 1929 for the Iberico American Explosion of 1929 showcasing a stunning plan of Renaissance revival and Moorish revival styles. Picture this, a semicircular building with a canal running in front of it, crossed by four ornate bridges. The main building is adorned with a series of bridges, towers and balcones, each representing different regions of Spain. As you walk along, you will notice colorful tiles, intricate ceramics benches, and beautiful alcades dedicated to various provinces. During our visit, the square was abuzz with activity. Although the central area was closed off for an event, the lively atmosphere was infectious. You can rent a little boat and have a romantic ride along the canal. How cool is that? Our journey continues along the riverfront promenade to the Torre del Oro. This historical treasure stands proudly on the banks of the river, dating back to the 13th century. Today, the tower housed the Naval Museum, offering visitors a glimpse into several maritime past. Next up, we wander through Barrio Santa Cruz, Seville's historic Jewish quarter. Its charming maze of narrow cobblestone alley and beautiful white facade with a pop of bright yellow. A picture perfect stroll indeed. Time for lunch at Hyoki, a slide of Japan in the heart of Seville. The sushi here was the puffs down the best we have had in Spain. And I took a little break while the humans enjoyed their meals. A win win. Heading towards the Royal Alcazar, we were met with surprise. It was closed. Sometimes even the best laid plans don't go as accepted. But hey, that's a part of adventure, right? Now the Seville Cathedral, a masterpiece. The mandate for the new church was, let's build a church so beautiful and so magnificent that those see it finished will think we are mad. Mission accomplished! When finished, the Seville Cathedral became the largest cathedral in the world. Officially, the Cathedral of Saint Mary of the Sea. The structure featured George's Gothic exterior. Last but not least, we wrapped our day at Las Setas de Seville, one of the city's most intrigued landscape, also known as Metropole Parazzo. Imagine walking through the street of Seville and suddenly stumbling upon colossal wooden mushrooms towering over you. That's Las Setas. It consists of six giant parasols. Las Setas is not just a feast for the eyes, but also unique urban space. The parasols provide shape to the square below and house the antiquarium, an archaeological museum showcasing artifacts from Roman times. The wooden mushroom structure offers a unique perspective of the city. 
they are must visit for the architecture enthusiasts in you. That's wrap for our Sevilla adventure. Don't forget to subscribe for more group dropping with Akikan. Until next time, stay curious, stay adventurous and keep your style wagging. Woof!